here at the show. We've got Rumi 2.0, which is for uh, iOS 7. Uh, we're demoing that here. It's going to be live on the App Store in the next couple of days. Um, we've got uh, a iOS universal remote. All of the configuration is inside the app. Um, that's really one of the things that we do uniquely is we detect all of the devices on your network that are IP controllable automatically. So whether it's um, a Yamaha receiver or a Roku or an Oppo player or a TiVo uh, or hundreds of other devices listed on our website, we detect them automatically. We configure them automatically and configure all these activities for them. So we put together your receiver, your uh, TV, your TiVo, all in one activity and so you can then Go tap that, edit it, go into edit mode, see what commands you're going to send, um, and whether it's IR, IP, or serial devices, we'll send those commands when you activate that activity. Um, and so we can activate an activity right now. It opens with a pre-configured remote, which you can edit. Uh, and we have two-way feedback for pretty much all of the IP or and serial devices we support. Uh, that would show the volume if we were connected to a real device. We have two weeks of guide data integrated into uh, the remote, and so we have the TiVo remote here integrated with the guide here on the right panel. Um, and so uh, the network's a little slow here at the show, but basically the, uh, the guide data comes up and uh, you can then tune that channel um, and get info on the program, see when it's next on, etc. So lots of, of very powerful guide data, including search for different programs. We can go uh, full screen on the guide. Everything, everything's in the guide. See, I'm okay. He's on the website. One of the things we're introducing here at the show, in addition to control over all these devices and everything we've had before, is called gesture control. And so you can jump into this screen where now you have safe gestures. Uh, and so you can you know, grab the screen and go into this gesture mode where now you can use the jog shuttle, uh, go up and down, change the volume, um, have these safe slides here so that you can't accidentally engage commands. Um, and flip between different command pages, whether it's the directional pad, or the play pad and you can have this kind of analog forward command or analog reverse command uh, and just jog shuttle it back and forth. So safe commands, trying to address uh, some of the issues that people have had with tablet remotes in the past where um, they don't know where the buttons are and they want to they be able to predict it uh, in terms of where their mental pathways think the buttons are, uh, like an old school hard button remote. Um, and so we now have these predictable buttons, safe slides so that you can grab the iPad on the bed or something and not accidentally hit a command uh, and flip between different gesture command pages. Going back to the uh, virtual remote, um, we have lighting control, Lutron integration, we synchronize all the devices down, all the lights, brightness, etc. Um, extensive TiVo integration including what program you're watching and how far into it you are. Uh, we also have uh, Sonos integration, um, so if I go into the kitchen, I can turn on Sonos. We were the first ones outside of Sonos with Sonos. We include Pandora, uh, new station creation for Pandora, music library, searching, queuing, line-in, radio support, uh, much broader Pandora support than anyone I'm aware of, including speaker grouping. So you can bring up a list of all your different Sonos devices and group them together uh, or ungroup them. Um, and that's all integrated with the same gesture control as well. Uh, we have IP camera support. All the Rumi stuff can work remotely, of course. And so we're VPNed into a site which has IP camera support through Rumi. All the RTSP cameras are supported. Uh, so we can get live camera feeds um, over this VPN from the show floor uh, to a real house with real RTSP streams. We're introducing here at the show Kaleidoscape integration. Uh, which includes cover art, browsing, etc. Really great movie server, uh, as well as an XBMC media guide. Uh, that's one of the new 2.0 features, um, which has, again, cover art, all kinds of uh, browsing of your XBMC content, um, iTunes integration, 
Uh, so if it's an IP device, likely we integrate with it. Lots of serial support, and uh, we have a great IR device library with 125,000 commands in it. Um, that's very well maintained. It's not just not just user generated content that we dump in. Um, we really spend time on refining the IR library. IR and serial are uh, something we talk to via the global cache iTouch devices, um, and they're here at the show as well. Uh, the iTouch Flex devices are compatible with both serial and IR, so it just depends on which cable you hook up. Um, the serial cable is, is universal, so it can be toggled between uh, straight or uh, a null modem style cable. Um, and then the emitter cables can plug into that, three emitters um, into one device, uh, or you can run it into a Zantech box and run lots of emitters out of that. Um, so they're very flexible and uh, extensive IP control with automatic discovery uh, and gesture control are really some of the highlights. So that's Rumi Remote 2.0 here at Cedia 2013. I was VPN in, which means I think I was just actually turning on various rooms, and you know, I think like a screen just came down, and my wife's probably like, "What?"